welfare payments. When people hear that, most of us think about poor people lined up for food stamps and rent subsidies. But America's biggest welfare recipients are politically connected corporations, like America's sugar industry. This small group of rich men gets billions of dollars in taxpayer subsidies. And yet they have the nerve to run ads saying, we don't. American farmers don't get subsidy checks. And America's multi-billion dollar sugar program? It costs taxpayers nothing. Nothing! Their spokesmen go on TV to say, We are a no-cost program. No cost to the taxpayer. That's absolutely bogus. Taxpayers do pay the cost. Ross Marchand of the Taxpayer Protection Alliance points out that sugar producers get bailouts by us taxpayers whenever sugar prices fall below a certain level. The government will buy sugar from the sugar processors and then sell it to ethanol producers at a below market rate. And who's paying the difference? Who's footing the bill? U.S. taxpayers. I wanted to interview representatives of Big Sugar about their sweet deal, but they wouldn't talk to me. So I'll present their deceptive arguments from their ads and public statements. Depending on others for food never works out as expected. Big Sugar has the nerve to use images from World War II to suggest we'll have food shortages if government doesn't give them a special deal. Does America really want to give foreign countries control over its food? Oh, please. Imports increase our supply of food. There are no import restrictions on most other foods, and we have ample supplies of them. Big Sugar also says, American farmers don't get subsidy checks. They get loans that are repaid with interest. Has to be repaid with interest. Repaid in what, sugar? They actually are allowed to repay in sugar if prices fall, and taxpayers must pay the difference. But sugar prices rarely do fall because America imposes quotas on domestic production and limits how much sugar we can import. These are Stalin-style price controls and supply controls, and it does not help well, anyone. Well, it helps Big Sugar. The politically connected owners of the sugar companies collect several billion extra dollars from you. At roughly three billion a year. Creighton University economist Diana Thomas explains why Congress never repeals the sugar industry scam. The multi-billion dollar handout costs each of us maybe 10 or 20 dollars. We're not gonna go to Washington to lobby against that, but. Each American sugar farmer made roughly $3 million a year extra. So each of them is willing to spend a lot of time and money making sure the law stays that way. In addition, Americans must pay billions more for food because Congress restricts imports of cheaper sugar from places like Brazil and India. I am prepared to get rid of the sugar program tomorrow if the countries we compete right. against get rid of theirs. Big Sugar's politicians say, since other countries foolishly subsidize sugar, we must retaliate. It basically allows our sugar industry to compete with other countries that are heavily subsidized. It's only fair to our sugar producers who don't get subsidized, who can't compete with these subsidized countries. Is it fair for customers to pay double the world rate for sugar? Is it fair for taxpayers to have to bail out a handful of super rich, super connected sugar processors? No. So crony capitalists host sweet benefit dinners while all of us pay more. Domino sugar makes America smile. The Americans least likely to smile are candy makers. They're the ones hurt most. There's one candy cane producer left in Ohio. That's absolutely ridiculous. And look at all those jobs. People from Akron, they need these jobs. 20,000 jobs a year lost, says this study. While well, Big Sugar pays for ads that say, Sugar has nothing to hide. That's because it's all natural. These products, they are bad for us. Maybe it's good we eat less because they cost more. Well, not all sugar products look like that. I mean, just look at bread. Bread and beer, yogurt, ketchup, and cereal. The fact that sugar is in everything means that healthy and unhealthy products alike are going to cost more. And all of that money is going to that handful of rich, politically connected growers and processors. So every time you buy anything made of sugar, you're getting ripped off by a clever group of businessmen who got your politicians to pass special laws for sugar. I wish more of you went to Washington, D.C. with a message for big sugar and big government. Get out of my life!